Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through code changes for Spring Batch migration from 2x to 3x version. Okay, all right. In recent Spring Boot 3.0 release, there are so many classes as deprecated. And being a developer, when we'll migrate our application from 2x to 3x, definitely we'll go with several challenges and compatibility issue. So I'm planning to help you with the migration guide. Today, we'll focus on Spring Batch migration steps where we'll understand what all configuration changes are required to make our code work. Okay, so without any further delay, let's get started. So before I start explaining the migration step, I am assuming that you have basic knowledge on Spring Batch. If not, you can go to my YouTube channel and check for a video called Spring Batch for Vignots. If you will go through this particular video, you will get the complete picture about Spring Batch and its internal flow. I will also share the link in video description so that you guys can refer it. Okay? So what basically we are going to do, we will take an existing Spring Batch project which was developed using 2x version. Then we'll migrate that to the 3x of Spring Boot version and we'll observe what all classes has been changed and what all implementation has been changed as part of this Spring Boot 3.0. Okay, so let's go to the IntelliJ idea. This is what the existing Spring Base project we have created before. And if you'll go and check in the pom.xml, we have the version 2.6.7. So the first step to start with the migration, First, we need to upgrade our Spring Boot version. Currently, it is 2.6.7. Let's use the any version of Spring Boot 3. So, we'll see what is the latest version available. 3.0.6. Okay, let's use it. If you are using Spring Boot 3.0, then the first principle to use any Java version greater than 17. Okay, so 17 is the baseline for Spring Boot 3.0. You cannot use any Java version lower than 17. Okay. Now, meanwhile, let me set the JDK path here. I need to use the 17. Similarly, I need to choose the 17 here. Also, I need to choose the SDK as a 17. All good. Click on apply. Click on OK. Fine. Next, simply just do the Maven update. It will download all the latest dependency. Yeah, once it is done, then we'll see in the code what all classes or what all implementation is deprecated or what things we need to change to make our code work. Okay. So for that, what we can do, we can go to our project and we can build it once. Once we'll build, it will give us the error if there is some compatibility issue. Okay, can you see here? We can see the error in the console. If you observe carefully, there is an error in your import statement. Import javax.persistence.column. Okay, I mean, if you remember correctly, when I explained the Spring Boot 3.0 feature, if you don't remember, you can check out this particular video to know more about what all new feature has been introduced as part of Spring Boot 3.0. Okay, I'll share the link in video description for your reference. So for now, what we can do, the javax.persistence is deprecated or this package is restructured to jakarta.persistence instead of javax. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll just simply remove it and we'll just re-import the new package. Can you see here? If you observe carefully, it is asking me to import from jakarta.persistence similarly you can import for the id and column okay observe carefully all the package got restructured to jakarta instead of javax okay all looks good let me do the rebuild again yeah there is no error now what next? Let's go to the config class. 
where we have defined our Spring Batch component, reader, writer, and processor. Just go to that particular package, Spring Batch config. And if you observe here, let me zoom this for you. If you observe here, Job Builder Factory and Step Builder Factory, these two class are deprecated and marked for removal. You can find here. See here. Job Builder Factory, Step Builder Factory is deprecated and marked for removal. Okay. In coming version, they are going to remove this particular class. Currently, they are just giving support to not get any error. So that is the reason we are able to access this class. But in upcoming feature, they are completely going to remove this particular class. Now then what is the alternative of this particular class? Very simple. First, let me remove these two class since this is not supported it's deprecated let me comment it out now we'll find the error wherever we are using these two class right just simply go there we are using in the step right just go there and instead of step builder factory then from the factory get the step object what you can do they have introduced a class called step builder so just create the object of it instead of factory they are saying we are giving one builder class so just create the object of it since there is no factory no need to get the instance of it just define the name of your step to your builder okay just remove this fine all good still there are some error i mean it's not error it's just a warning i'll come to that point how we can resolve that before that first let's fix the basic error okay now again there is no factory concept as part of spring boot 3.0 in spring batch so what we can do again there is a class given by spring batch is called job builder okay just create a object of job builder job builder not helper okay this one now there is no need to get do the get call because anyway it's not factory so you no need to get the instance from it just remove it and just define the name of your job that's it right so again there are some warning we'll fix it okay we'll understand why it's giving warning then we'll fix in both the case so is there any error let me see okay we need to remove these two import statement as well because we are not going to use it cool there is no error now what next you need to do as part of spring boot 3.0 to work with spring batch let me minimize this you need to remove this enable batch processing annotation this annotation is no longer required if you are using spring boot 3.0 okay so let's remove its input statement now what else the last step you need to do go to your application.properties file okay and here if you observe we are using something called let me zoom this we are using something called spring batch dot initialize hyphen schema always okay so they have changed the key in spring boot 3.0 you need to define here spring dot batch dot jdvc dot initialize hyphen schema okay that's it this is the basic changes you need to do if you are migrating your application to 3x from 2x in case of spring batch changes okay so what we'll do now we'll run the code then we'll see the error then we'll fix this particular warning okay job builder and step builder warning okay so first let me run the code so if you go to the console we got the error java.lang illegal state exception job repository is mandatory so we'll see where it is mandatory spring base config java 80 okay in this line number we are building the object of step okay so what it is saying to build a step you need to use a class called job repository that is what the class we have not added while building the step object so how i can inject that 
simply I can pass here, right? Can you see here? This class given by Spring Batch. Just import it correctly. Then we need to give it to the step builder. Fine. So since this step we are giving to job, here also we need to pass this job repository. Just copy this and paste it here and give it here. That's it. Still there are some warning and if you observe here, let me break it down. Here is also we have some warning, right? Now let's run the code. Then we'll see if there is any error. Based on that, we'll fix it. Let me run it. It will be 30 second job to just add the code changes, guys. I am trying to explain you what is the need of that class. If you will not give that, what is the error you will get? That is the reason I am explaining step by step. Can you see here? We are getting the error. Let me zoom this. Illegal state exception. A transaction manager must be provided. We will see where it is expecting transaction manager. Line number 82. What is that? Step. So while building step, you are giving job repository. That is correct. Also, you need to give a transaction manager. Okay. It is up to you which implementation you are using. Based on that, you can define your transaction manager. For now, since I am using the JPA, I will use platform transaction manager transaction manager and I need to give this transaction manager to the step object. Okay. So while building the chunk to avoid the data inconsistency, I am giving transaction manager to the chunk. Okay. Similarly, I am giving this step to the job. So job also need to add this particular statement. Just give it here and just pass it. Okay. And here also, I mean, you need to provide the job repository. That is how this is giving the warning. That's fine. So transaction manager is not required for job. But since we are using transaction manager and repo in step and step we are giving to the job. So to pass as part of the method argument, we need these two in job object as well okay all good now fine so let me remove this since we are not using unnecessarily we don't want to keep it fine let's run the code yeah so it looks good it started on port 9191 now what we'll do we'll go to the controller class and we'll trigger this particular endpoint so that whatever the csv data i have will be populate to my DV. Okay. So what is the URL? Import customers slash jobs. Go to the postman. This is what the particular endpoint. Just click on send. It took 3.4 millisecond. Sorry, 3.4 second, right? Now, if you will go and check in your console, you can see here, there is a insert statement. It means the data from the CSB is being inserted to my DV. Now we'll verify. It took total 2 second 932 millisecond to complete the step and the job name what we define in our config file. I mean config class. The status is completed, right? Now go to the DV and just refresh it you can see all the table has been generated by Spring Batch. So I already explained purpose of each and every table in my Spring Batch video. You can go through it so that you will get the clear idea about each and every table. Okay. Now our focus to check whether all the thousand row which I have in my CSV file is being inserted to the customer's info table or not. So what I will do, I will open a SQL script new one select star from customers info can you see here since we are running or we are executing using the task executor the flow is concurrently 
after one there is no two customer the customer which is being inserted is 6 12 16 so there is no order basically right and if you will see count star we'll see whether we have thousand row or not we have successfully inserted all the row from csv to dv so make sure if you are using spring boot 3.0 you need to focus on these changes what we have discussed in this class okay so do let me know in a comment section if you have any doubts that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video meet you soon with a new concept